India will showcase its Tejas light combat aircraft at the 4-day Singapore Air Show next week with an eye on the possible export potential of the indigenously developed jet to friendly countries in years to come. After Brahmo's success with the Philippines, India is eyeing debut contract for LCA Tejas fighter jets with Malaysia. Currently, the ACA nation Malaysia evaluating its option of getting the light fighter jets for its air force. Tejas is manufactured by aerospace giant Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is a single engine and highly agile multirole supersonic fighter aircraft capable of operating in high threat air environments. The LCA Tejas is a fly by wire fighter with the ability to refuel in the air. Almost similar to a stealth fighter, it also has a glass cockpit with advanced digital cockpit, multimode radar, integrated digital avionics system and advanced composite material structures and a satellite-assisted inertial navigation system, making it a fourth-generation fighter. It has the capability to transport air-to-ground bombs and attack systems that can be used to strike targets on land or at sea. Thus, it is an opportune moment for India to boost its export order, as Malaysia is eyeing an upgrade to its air force with low-cost light fighter aircraft, but currently India's Tejas is competing against Turkey's Hurjet to seal its spot in the Royal Malaysian Air Force. Both will be showing their capabilities in Singapore Air Show this week, because neighbouring Malaysia would be expected to keenly watch these aircraft. Tejas is in the last stage of development, but its USP is that it is already serving with the Indian Air Force, on the other hand Hurjet is still under development and will not take off for another one year. Price of Tejas also perfectly matches with the RMAF expectations. What make the deal more realistic is that, according to the HAL annual report for 2020-2021, HAL has signed MOU with Metals and Minerals Trading Corporation of India as channelizing partner for import of palm oil for likely counter trade for sale of LCA Tejas to Royal Malaysian Air Force because Malaysia has some budgetary and forex issues and thus has expressed interest in a barter payment system by trading in palm oil for 18 fighter jets it wants to purchase. Royal Malaysian Air Force is looking for initial 18 aircraft plus 8 aircraft set to be purchased from 2025 onwards. India is the world's largest importer of palm oil, buying more than 9 million tons annually, mainly from Indonesia and Malaysia so it seems that Tejas could be the best choice for Malaysian Air Force. In the last few years, India has been ramping up efforts to increase the export of military platforms to friendly countries. Recently in line with the central government's vision, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has signed a contract with the government of Mauritius for export of one advanced light helicopter for the island nation's police force. Sri Lanka is also in talks with India discussing a proposal to acquire two Dornier aircraft for the Sri Lankan military. The Defence Ministry has set a goal of a turnover of 25 billion US dollars in defence manufacturing by 2025 that included an export target of 5 billion US dollars worth of military hardware. The government has also been focusing on reducing dependence on imported military platforms and has decided to support domestic defense manufacturing.